numbers come from? Like, why is it forty thousand? Do you see what I'm asking? Yeah. I mean, who, why, where did those numbers come from? They're in statute. Okay. They're statutorily defined. Like, okay. if you wanted to talk about the um, real estate transfer tax that um, Senator Raggio has is going to propose for us, um, the what that would do would be change the limit to counties of greater than 100,000 because then it would mean Clark and Washington. So they, what they have to do is then they have to go in and change the statute. And you may say, hey, I've heard Washoe County has over 400,000 people and I think it's 410 right now. But in 2000, when we did the census, I kind of remember, forget what year it is. In 2000, when the census happened, we had like 360, 380, somewhere less than 400. So now, you have to get to a new census year. When you're over 410, it could be that all of this, the levels will be raised to 600. Yeah, so two, in 2010, you'll be getting that anyway, most likely. No. What happens, maybe you can explain this better than I can. What happens is that um, all the statutes that are set at greater than 400,000, which kind of signifies Clark County, those, those then get raised to 600,000. I was going to ask about yeah. that because I had heard that every time we get close to reaching the level that has been stated, it goes up higher and we have a hard time that, reaching it. That could happen. If, if the intent of the legislature is to restrict one of those sources like the real estate transfer tax to only Clark County, they'll just raise the limit. Okay, so what is, is that the intention? We don't know. We wouldn't know. It, I've heard that it looks that way. So well, it's, it's, that it's not somebody's intention is for us not to have to pay. But why is it? What is the benefit of them restricting it to Clark County? I mean, seriously. Because reason? voters in Washoe County lobbied that at the time the law was written. Restate that? So people in Washoe County lobby. They don't want these taxes. The people that are in the construction business, yeah, and the, it's they not don't the, want that. It's not the citizens. It's the people with it's lobbying. <laughs> Well, go ahead. Well, so this is just revenue through 2012. The real estate transfer tax, if it were 60 cents on $500, or in other words, $1.20 on a thousand, that would be $1.20 for every thousand dollars of house that you sell. The seller and buyer would have to negotiate that between the two of them. So if you had a $300,000 house, it'd be $360 in addition to what's already there. There already is 410, 410 cents. No, that's right, four dollars and ten cents on every thousand. So this would bring it up to five dollars and thirty cents. The four ten is used for low income housing right now. Um, this would bring in a revenue of nine point two million dollars a year. It's bondable. So through two thousand twelve, it would bring in about one hundred and ten million dollars. And that's only when you buy and sell a house. And, you know, the buyer and the seller usually negotiate that. Residential construction tax is when there's a new unit built and. If we were to figure at $1,600 per unit, that would be $9.5 million for a total of $45 million over the next five years. It is not bondable because it's called an impact fee. It only occurs one time, only when that facility is built. The room tax at one and five eighths percent would be added on to, you know, presumably added on to the price of a hotel room, the tax figured in when you pay, at the end of time when you pay your bill, and you see the room tax. That would bring in about $4.6 million a year. It is bondable. It would be about $56 million. And the sales tax at a very modest 1.8%, $8.2 million a year, bondable for $111 million. So if you do some quick math on this, you add it up, it's $320 million. And let me remind you, we've got about a $500 million shortfall. So this is not the end of the conversation at all. It is just the beginning. We do have this need. We have this need through 2012. And um, what we're asking for you today is your support. On the back of your form, you'll see that the, all the legislators are, are listed. Um, the legislators for this area are Senator Townsend, Assemblywoman Ganser, and Assemblyman Cobb. They need to hear from you that you believe that we have this need. 